Hi, this is Bill, and today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the state hatchery, the fish hatchery in Bath, New York, where we just got your brown trout eggs. The hatchery is located at the south end of Cayuga Lake, about an hour west of Cayuga Lake. The staff at the hatchery work for the state of New York and they're experts on fish and conservation. They're always happy to take a break from their work and show us around. We collected your eggs from that brick building on the right side of this picture. But first, before we go in, let's find out where those eggs came from. Eggs from female trout are collected each year from New York State streams and lakes. Milt from male trout is also collected to fertilize the eggs. The adult trout are not harmed and are returned to their streams. Once the eggs are collected, they're transferred to the bath hatchery's hatch house. Let's take a look. To keep the eggs healthy, the water needs to be kept very cold. At the hatchery, it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually, students from several schools travel to the hatchery to collect eggs for themselves and for all the schools in the Finger Lakes Trout in the Classroom program to use. Soon, the eggs hatch and begin the alvin stage of their life cycle. After about a month, the alvins, or sac fry, mature and enter the fry stage of their life cycle. If we're lucky, during a class visit, we'll have a chance to watch the fisheries experts do fin clipping on the young fry trout before they move outdoors. The fins are clipped on the trout in a different place every year so scientists can learn how far they travel and how long they survive once they're released to the wild. Once our trout are large enough, they're transferred to larger outdoor holding tanks. At this stage, they're called fingerling trout. Once the trout reach a length of about seven inches, they're transferred to temporary tanks and are nearly ready to be transported to streams around the state and released. During the early spring and fall, you might see one of these trucks at a stream near your home. This is how our trout get to the streams and lakes they will ultimately live in. Now you know where your trout eggs came from. I hope you enjoyed your quick tour of the hatchery. There are a lot of really cool things to see and do at the hatchery, so it's definitely worth a visit if you ever have a chance. See you soon.